Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I'll talk about what should be your preparation strategy for GATE 2023 for the next two months. And I hope by now you know your exam dates uh, for GATE 2023 that is already out. And there is just two months left for the GATE exam because GATE, GATE exam will be starting from first week of February. And these two months is very crucial for a uh, aspirant's life because these two months, all the all the all the days you have to utilize properly to take a preparation so that you can you can you can get the desired rank in GATE 2023. So in this video, I'll I'll discuss few things uh, that will be helpful for your preparation. So let's start today's video. So first thing that is needed is if you are someone who is yet to complete the uh, GATE syllabus, all the subjects that is there in GATE syllabus, please complete it first because your understanding of those 10 subjects or 12 subjects that is there in GATE syllabus, that is really, really important. Until unless you have a solid understanding on the subjects, you can't do well in, 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 the, in the GATE exam and there is no point of doing mock test, revision and all. So first task is that you have to complete all the subjects and parallelly when you are, you, are, you, are, you are reading the subjects, you are, you know, going through different uh, subjects, please uh, do solve the previous year questions as well because those are the standard questions that is being set by IITs. So that should be the first point that if you haven't completed your syllabus yet, please complete it first. The second thing is if you are someone who has already completed this uh, syllabus, so then your task would be that you start appearing into full length mock test. Now, as I have mentioned in many of my previous video that, you know, appearing to different full length mock tests is very important because you need to learn how to manage time. So time management skills, that is something very important in any competitive exam like GATE. You need to know that how you will utilize this 180 uh, minute, three hours. Uh, effectively so that you know you can easily solve all the 65 questions and you can get as much as marks as possible so that's why the next uh, task that you have to do you start appearing into full length mock test obviously initial few mock tests won't be that uh, good for you because you know when, when you appear for the mock test for the first time those all those 10 to 12 subjects you have to you know you have to um, kind of uh, remember you have to recapitulate all the concepts and that will be new for you so initially few mock tests might be it happen that you are not scoring well but gradually your your performance will be increasing over the period of time and many people used to ask me whether they should appear for the short test that means you know subject wise test or uh, mini mock test or not i would recommend you not to appear for those mock tests now because uh, short mock test uh, you you don't get, get the opportunity to uh, think about all the 10 subjects so you might think one or two subjects but that is not something that will help you now because this phase of your preparation you need to think of all the subjects quickly uh, within three hours so that's why i would recommend you that if you are if, if you are appearing for any test uh, appear for the full length mock test the next important thing is that whenever you are appearing for the mock test don't forget to analyze it and it is very important analysis of mock test is very important because that gives you an idea what are the subjects that you are strong at and what are the subjects that you are weak at and when you know that these are the subjects i am very strong at then you have to keep your momentum in that way and in the in the coming mock test also you will try to get as much as possible score from these subjects because this is your strong points on the other hand all the subjects where you are not doing well uh, you are weak at a bit then what you have to do is you have to focus more on those subjects maybe you have forgotten those subjects that then you have to revise them uh, maybe you are not doing well there are some pattern of questions you are not able to solve then you have to solve a lot of similar kind of questions so you have to focus uh, put a lot of focus more on those subjects where you are weak at so that's why analysis analysis of your mock test is very important uh, because that gives you an idea about your strength and weaknesses on on on, on different subjects and that's so I suggest you someday you are giving a mock test uh, please try to analyze the mock test on that day evening or maybe in the next day morning so that you have an idea that where you are standing on on a particular point of time and also there is one more thing that happens when you analyze a mock test that is 
what kind of mistakes that you are doing because whenever you analyze a particular mock test you will see what are the mistakes that you have done in that particular mock test and that will give you that what are the what are the kind of mistakes that you're doing because there might be some mistakes that is coming because you are doing silly mistakes there might be some mistakes that may be some calculation mistakes that you are doing mathematical calculations or maybe there are some mistakes where you don't know how to solve the questions you have just tried your luck but it's not working in that case you have to again you know practice uh, uh, similar kind of questions so these all things will, will come into play when you you analyze your mock test and that is that's why i'm saying that don't forget to analyze analyze your mock test because you need to get a feedback from a, a particular mock test when you are appearing it that how you are performing what are the mistakes that you are doing and from them you learn and you try to improve in the next mock test so that will be the learning curve and from where you will you will excel gradually and hopefully in the final exam you won't repeat all those mistakes and you will get uh, as much a score as possible the fourth important thing is revision uh, so uh, alongside this mock test what you're appearing you have to keep on revising the subjects uh, because because if you don't uh, don't revise the subjects you might forget them so whenever you, you are giving the mock test so suppose you are giving a mock test today so have a break of two days and on, again on the third day you give another mock test so in these two days the first thing that you have to do is you have to analyze your mock test and you have to do all the things that i have just mentioned in the, in the, in the previous point and the other thing that you need to do is you need to revise the subjects uh, that you haven't uh, read maybe for some time and specifically the subject that you are weak at so revision is something that is very important and i will suggest you that if you have a short note please follow the short note to revise because that is actually time uh, time saving so you can revise a whole uh, whole set of subjects within a very uh, few time if you are following a short uh, short note and also one thing that i will tell you that if you are not doing well in a particular pattern of questions then do solve a lot of questions also uh, because that will actually improve your skill set that will make you more efficient solving that kind uh, kind of questions uh, which will reflect in your uh, coming mock test and eventually in the uh, in the in the final exam so that's a revision is something that is also very important you have to periodically re revise uh, different subjects now this specific uh, routine you have to follow for next one and a half months that is till january 15 you keep on giving different mock tests analyze them revise them and again in the in, in the second day or third day again give another another mock test and this is how you repeat the whole process but don't give any mock test after january 15 because i personally feel that giving too much mock test is also not uh, you know good for uh, aspirants preparation because this is something that you have to understand this all these mock test papers that is being set by different coaching institutions and i hope you understand that kind of standard question that is being set by iits nowadays these question paper in the mock test by coaching institution can't match that label so the whole part purpose of these uh, mock test is that you know in a time constant fashion uh, learn how to solve uh, a set of questions so so learning time management is the is the main thing what i feel that we learn from the mock test rather than uh, solving a standard question paper most of the time there are a lot of you know mistakes is there in the question paper there are a lot of errors is there so that's why if you solve but too much of uh, you know these mock test paper then your mind kind of trained to solve this kind of uh, you know pattern of question that is being said by different coaching institutions so that's why i would always recommend you that after january 15 don't give any mock test uh, because because that time you have to go back to your basic uh, that time i would suggest you that go back and revise the subjects and uh, not from the short notes but from the long notes or textbook whatever you have referred solve the previous previous year questions once more uh, so that you know you have a flavor of the standard questions once again and that will that will flush your mind because your mind for the last one and a half months is being trained to solve different mock test question paper uh, but you know you need to again uh, solve the different standard question paper that is being set by iits and i would suggest you that whatever tricky question that you have appeared uh, that you have that you have seen over this period of last uh, 8 to 10 months of gate preparation try to see those questions again and again whatever questions you find it bit bit difficult focus on on those questions uh, patterns uh, 
um, because maybe if the similar pattern comes in the gate paper you might find it difficult so that will be your preparation strategy from january 15 till your uh, gate exam date now finally there are few points uh, that i i will mention so whenever i'm saying that you have to solve previous year question paper uh, you don't need to solve the question paper from 1990 or 1995 uh, so from 2008 if you solve the last 14 to 15 years that is sufficient because the pattern has changed uh, since 2008 so the, all the question paper um, in your respective branch all the sets that is being uh, set by different IITs over these last 14 years or 15 years please solve those questions so that is number one number two is many people used to ask me that how to uh, you know prepare for aptitude question uh, so there is no such you know so-called pattern of aptitude question that is being set by IIT so basically uh, IIT is to check your uh, you know common sense of you know kind of aptitude sense or uh, reasoning sense through this aptitude uh, question paper so that's why uh, I, I I don't know any any material that you have to follow for this one many people used to follow different resources from MBA or other other competitive exam for this uh, question paper but I would suggest you that you solve all the aptitude question paper of all the streams from 2008 to till uh, to 2022 and I think that is sufficient I mean you will get around I don't know maybe 50 to 60 question papers and if you solve all those questions from different streams not only your stream other streams also if you solve that is more than ever enough for uh, aptitude question uh, aptitude uh, questions preparation the third important thing is that you know uh, that is that is about your whenever you will be appearing for different mock test and all that whenever you are practicing uh, these different mock test and whenever you are approaching a question don't guess the solution of the question it might feel that a specific question you see that you know this question I have already seen in my last exam or maybe somewhere I know the answer let's uh, you know guess the answer and go for the other one to save the time but don't do that because it might happen there are some twist in linguistically in the in the question paper which, which you might be missing and because of that maybe the question the answer of the question will be changing so that's why I suggest you that whenever you are solving a question uh, question solve it end to end and then only go for the uh, solution so that is number one second thing is practice of doing proper you know writing uh, for a for a for a for a solution because in the gate paper you'll be given a uh, you know uh, answer booklet to solve the question paper and that's why if you mess in that uh, booklet then when you come back and revise and 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 you you won't find that the way you have solved the question for that's why make your rough work very clean so that when you come back and revise for the uh, for, for a specific question you find the prop you find it properly written and that will help you to do the revision properly and finally i will tell you the one thing you must follow is that whenever you are solving a question immediately revise it because you know if you plan to revise it after completing 65 question it's very hard to you know recapitulate what you have solved in the first or second question or whatever you have done maybe two hours before so that's why whenever you are solving a uh, you know a question uh, that time immediately you revise it because that time you are in, in in that question so you can see whatever the calculations and all that you have done and easily uh, you can you can detect if, if you have done any mistake so these are the few points that I feel that yeah that that you should follow so that you can you know minimize your mistakes in any mock test and eventually in the gate exam yeah that's it guys that's it about this video so I have made a lot of videos regarding gate last year uh, so the playlist i'll be given in the, in the description you can go and check it out so all these points i have made uh, one separate video uh, on on each of the topic last year but this year i'm not making the video because that is kind of redundant uh, topic i'll be covering but yeah this is kind of a uh, you know i am i'm collecting all the points and making it in this video so that uh, it will be helpful for all of you uh, so let me know if you have any doubt regarding gate preparation if you're someone who's preparing for gate if you have if you want to know anything specific to get preparation for the next two months please let me know and please do prepare very well because next two months is very very important very crucial and uh, whatever the preparation that you will take for these two months that will stay for you in the in the final exam so that's why uh, you shouldn't waste any time in this period focus fully on the gate preparation be in that zone for the gate preparation and hopefully it will it will be helpful for you so that's it guys that's it about this video if you like this video please like it and share this video to other gate aspirants as well and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i will upload any new video you will get instant notification that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then 